What's up guys, Graham here, bringing out another of the older videos, and you guys may be wondering why I'm pulling out so many older Warfront videos right now. It's because I've got a lot in the library right now, and I'm not really making too much new stuff just at the moment. I'm waiting on Rift 3.0 Nightmare Tide to hit, because all Warfronts and everything that we can do right now... The currencies that you get is going to be absolutely worthless just shortly once Nightmare Tide hits. And there's just no point in doing Warfronts or Conquests right now except for just having some fun. But really, it, it's that's not the way that I enjoy playing too much. Yeah, I do like the PvP and that's what I love about it. But I also like the progression and the progression is a big part of it for me. So, whenever I'm doing Warfronts and Conquests, I want to feel like I'm working towards something. You know, I can, I can have fun fighting players, but there has to be some kind of progression that's happening along the way. And right now, that's not the case. So, we've got to wait for Nightmare Tide to hit before we can really put out some new footage and me have a lot of fun with it. And also, if I save this stuff until after Nightmare Tide hits and all of a sudden release an older video every once in a while, you guys are going to be like, hey, you're only level 60 in this. You know, you're, you're posting level 60 stuff whenever the max level is 65. And pr people probably aren't going to like it. So I'm going to try to rush out a bunch of the older videos right now and see how you guys like it. Uh, of course... I perform rather well in almost all of them, so uh, that's not going to be a case of me pulling out a bunch of terrible war fronts and trying to shove them down y'all's throats. But there is reasons why I didn't post some of these, and uh, you know that's not the case with all of them. You know, some of them I just overlooked and never got around to posting it, but. Like this particular one here, I'm playing a Paragon build, and Paragon is extremely bursty, and you should you should just be killing everybody with this. Well, I got kind of frustrated during this war front because, as you can see, every time I'm hitting somebody and somebody else is hitting them, they got the kill every time, and I was like, man, come on. And it doesn't happen every time, but you know, it, it was enough to where I was like, man, screw this video. I am not posting it. But see, I didn't even get the killing, killing blow on that guy. And I was almost exclusively hitting him, but somebody else's dot or anything else might have killed him. So it was kind of frustrating to me. I like to go in and butcher everybody. And I do that in this video, but I don't get the credit for it. So. I still end up topping kills uh, out of everybody in the Warfront. As you can see, there's there's some names in this Warfront. Uh, you can see uh, Zimmy's is there. I believe he's healing in this one. And Warren's in this. Uh, Warren is an a Inquisitor spec. And oddly enough, he just died right whenever I'm pointing him out. Uh, if you can see the health bars there. Which, Inquisitor should almost never be dying, because Inquisitor is extremely overpowered. and uh, In my opinion, it's the strongest uh, spec in the game. Um, I know a lot of people believe that Paragon is, but I, I like uh, Inquisitor because it's just got so much utility to it. It can be bursty, it can have great DPS, just everything about it is overpowered. And the just sheer amount of CCs that it has just makes it way better than everything else, in my opinion. And that's why, you know, I'll, I pretty much never like duel an Inquisitor or something. Every time somebody comes up to me and tries to duel me, it's almost always an Inquisitor. And it's like, yeah, because you know that your spec is awesome at dueling. Um, with the double heal and the, dotting people up to where you can kite them and uh, just tons of stuff that you can do as inquisitor and yeah people always try to duel me with it which i almost never lose but if i'm going to lose it's probably going to be to an inquisitor um actually i fought warren uh by himself one time in a cq match 
I, w I just got through killing some people and I ran behind the building at uh, TT. And sure enough, he was running behind it and he attacked me as soon as he seen me. Well, it was a one-on-one -on -one duel all of a sudden. But all my cooldowns were down. My big heal, all that stuff from my uh, Warlord Paladin spec. And so I was at a s significant disadvantage. But still, it was going to be a good fight because my cooldowns were slowly coming up as the fight was going on. And he almost got the kill on me. It was very close. It, I was getting him really low. He was getting me really low. But it looked like he was going to pull it off in the end because, uh, you know, my cooldowns were just not timed out right because they were down whenever the fight started. Well... Sure enough, somebody else comes up running like a marksman spec or something like that and starts shooting him. And the person that was running the marksman spec was doing absolutely terrible damage. But it was just enough to flatline Warren and give me the kill on him to where I won the duel basically with a little bit of help. Not much help, but all I needed was, you know, that, that hairline of damage being done extra on him and I could pull it off and sure enough that's what happened and but you know going against a really good inquisitor like that that really knows their build has a good spec for pvp and all that it's going to be a, a very hard fight for anybody and if you're running like a rogue sin build or something like that you might as well just hang it up against the inquisitor they can just purge you and it, it's a done deal after that. Your poisons are most likely going to get purged and you're going to be doing nothing. You, yeah, you could rebuff your poisons, but you know what, what kind of damage is he going to do to you before you get your poisons up and still get your burst in and all that. So you guys are probably wondering when the new videos are going to be coming up and stuff but the truth is i'm not really doing any war fronts or conquests at the moment and uh, that's probably going to stay that way until nightmare tide hits once nightmare tide hits it's going to be lots and lots of pvp and the build videos will be coming back as well because it's almost pointless to do build videos right now because of the mastery system that's going to be coming in and I'm sure that's going to be a big factor in a lot of these builds. So i got to wait until Nightmare Tide hits. That way, whenever I make a build, I can also include the mastery stuff in with it. Uh, so you guys know exactly how to run the build without a big chunk of the information being missing. And it means that I'm probably going to have to redo all of my videos for the most part. And try to show you guys the OP specs and how to run them and all that good stuff. And... I don't know if I'm going to do much more on uh, face roll builds like I did the elementalist build and I was going to do some other face roll builds but everybody seems to always respond negatively to them. Uh, I get a lot of people that will watch just one of my videos and it'll be an elementalist build or whenever I was running like that three button shaman build and they'll just criticize me like crazy you know you're a terrible player you belong in pve and all this stuff and i'm like have you watched more than one video of mine you know you, you should know by now that uh, i run a lot of different specs don't judge me on a face roll build that i did for entertainment purposes and uh, the thing is is that those face roll builds they kill people you know they they kill lots of people as long as you're doing your positioning right and all that but of course it could be played better it's just a matter of making it a little more difficult and uh oh th this part here makes me laugh it, he comes towards me i pull him but he kind of comes at me like he's trying to kite me back and sure enough it's bam he's dead it was kind of funny there um but the kills in this warfront aren't real high because it's rather fast of a warfront. And as you can see, we've got pretty much double the points of the enemy team. And the match ends not too long after this. So can't really get a whole lot of kills. And also with other people getting kills over me, it was kind of difficult to put on a stellar performance, so to say. But of course, Paragon is very strong, so... Yeah, I'm just bursting down everybody for the most part. 
Um, what all am I doing lately? Lately I've been kind of waiting on the Rift expansion and also the World of Warcraft expansion coming out soon. I'm looking forward to that. And also the, uh, I'm playing a lot of Arc Age lately. And if you guys do not know... I think uh, I may have made more gangry. Oh, somebody was actually in the chat on this. Alright, I didn't even know that we had the Ventrilo running during this match because nobody was talking. But... Basically, I've been playing a lot of Arc Age, and it's been really fun. And if you guys are not familiar with my Grim Gaming Everything channel, check out the description below this video, and there's a link to my other channels. I've got a World of Warcraft channel, and I've also got a channel that I play everything else on. And lately, it's been mostly Arc Age on there. But I do play some Hearthstone and stuff like that. So if you guys just enjoy watching me play games, then that's the place to be. Uh, there aren't a lot of videos being posted because unfortunately I, I am working a job that is taking a lot of my time. And I'm gone for like a week at a time sometimes. So editing videos just, it, it can't happen while I'm on the road unless I get like a editing laptop or something. And, uh, so yeah, I'm wanting to put out a lot more videos, but, you know, with the job kind of weighing in on me, I can't put out too much footage, but hopefully I can get some good stuff out to you guys. There's been a lot of interesting stuff going on in Arc Age to where I wish I was recording some of it that happened, but I do have quite a bit of good footage. It's just a matter of finding the time to edit it. And right now I've just been putting footage up that I haven't had to edit. But once I start editing the footage of all of it, it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff that happens in Arc Age. And of course it's uh, published by Tryon that also makes Rift here. So a lot of the aspects that I love in Rift are also being transferred over to Arc Age. And Arc Age is turning out to be a really big game. During prime hours you look and a lot of the servers have a queue time because they're full of players. So that's pretty cool. And I see it just getting bigger and bigger probably. You know a lot of times a new game comes out and it has some initial hype. But then it dies off afterwards. I don't know. I think as Arc Age gets more streamlined and less buggy it's going to gain even more players. I'm not sure. I'm just guessing there, but it, it's a really good game, and I'm wondering how the in-game PvP is going to be. That's going to be the deciding factor for me. As you can see, I went 13-0. Warren went 13-4. Wow. He, he, he must have been having some trouble playing Inquisitor there for some reason. But I hope you guys enjoyed the footage, and hopefully you'll be seeing some more coming up. All right. I'll see you guys next time.